complete with bagpipes and a procession of local first responders, Sergeant First Class Randy Nance got a hero's welcome as he received the gift of a newly built mortgage-free home. The retired Army veteran calls the gift a lifesaver. Recovery is long, even if you know your first couple years are very long. When you're injured to the point you have to learn how to walk again. Nance was serving in Iraq in 2006 when an IED hit his Humvee, causing injuries that forced doctors to amputate part of his leg. Even after his injuries, what he does is he helps us find other veterans who are in need of help. And he helps other veterans in their day-to-day -day care. Andy Pujol founded the nonprofit Building Homes for Heroes. Donated homes like Nance's come with special features designed to make life easier for wounded warriors. You know, I'm the oldest guy around and I've seen all kinds of wars. It's a cause that received a generous donation of land from 98-year-old World War II veteran Jack Tolbert. I told him that I think he deserved this home. I really, and it warms my heart that we can do something like this. Only weather stopped the former Army Air Corps pilot from performing a flyover in honor of Nance. But Tolbert wasn't going to miss the celebration. So what's going on here is, is, is the most important thing that can happen is we are taking care of those people who, who uh, risk their lives for our uh, freedom. It's an example Nance says he'll follow as he continues to help younger veterans coming home. You never take care of yourself, right? You take care of your buddies to your left and right, because if everybody does that, then everybody's taken care of, right? And no one had to take care of themselves as long as they're taking care of everybody else. In Argyle, Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.